All right, so I've been uh, letting this go for a while. We're going to react to some mind-blowing conspiracy theories. Uh, Shane Dawson did a lot of this. And I like I like how he like just goes about it. It's pretty cool. I uh, hope you guys uh like this reaction video. I'm gonna we're gonna take a look at it. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Now today we're gonna be talking about a lot of different theories. Some involving subliminal messages that have been around for your whole Scary. life. Damn. Oh here's fun now! Stop it! <laughs> what are you doing? Stop! We're also going to be talking about some of the dark secrets involving the world's biggest pop stars. Also, okay. a possible warning sign that humans are going to be exterminated. Ooh. And for the first time, I let somebody tell me a conspiracy. And it's from one of the biggest conspiracy theorists I know, my own brother. And what he told me was mind-blowing. Ew! Oh my god! Right? Ew! So ew! About now before we get started, once again, I have to say, these are all just theories, none of them are facts. And they're not meant to hurt anyone, any company, or any fandom. All right, yeah. let's get started. Is it just like, yeah, it's gonna be terrible, but I know what you're thinking, Shane. Are you really gonna be talking about yeah. versus Laurel? Yes, but <laughs> not in the way that you would expect. So for the one person out there who doesn't know about this, who's oh, there? Yanny versus Laurel took over the internet and took over the world. Well, if you haven't heard about this yet, let me tell you, you probably will by the end of the day. What do you hear in this audio clip? The word Laurel or Yanny? Is it Yanny or Laurel? <laughs> Just raise, raise your hands. hands. Everybody who heard Yanny. Okay, you don't have to clap. Yanny or Laurel? Who hears uh, Laurel? Then I got to work. I, oh, I remember it, this thing. Here was Laurel. Oh, this I think is a while back. I, think. So I heard well, Laurel, I Laurel, Laurel, and now. I can't, I can't hear Laurel anymore. I never got really into it, but... That's right. It was, was on the news. Every single celebrity was talking about it. Laurel. 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 YouTubers were reacting to it. Laurel. Yanny! Laurel. <laughs> Even the White House did a video about it. Uh. Yanny. So clearly Laurel. I hear Kofefi. <laughs> so a YouTuber named Chloe found the clip uh. on Reddit and posted it on her Twitter. I tweeted this thing today. What do you guys hear, Yanny or Laurel? And it went viral. Wait, oh my god! Oh my god! Ellen retweeted it! Oh my god! Oh my god! And then people started interviewing <laughs> the girl who actually created the freaking I was doing a literature assignment on vocabulary.com and I clicked it and I heard Yanny and I knew that wasn't one of my vocab words. So you're probably thinking I'm gonna say this whole thing was a conspiracy. conspiracy. It's just meant to distract us yeah. from the important things that were going on. Laurel. It's it's Laurel America. Definitely hashtag Laurel. Laurel. So clearly Laurel. Uh. She was like, Chloe, you should tweet this and go viral. <laughs> so I tweeted it and it went viral. Hashtag Laurel. It's like just blowing up. Yeah. 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 No, I don't think that's what it was. But it oh. does correlate with the theory. Oh, I was already like, oh yeah. But we'll get to that a little bit later. No. <laughs> Get now, to after Yanny and Laura went viral, a bunch of other audio clips came out that were freaking people out. This one was played on The Ellen Show, and I can't believe it didn't get more attention. I'm going to play you an audio clip. Listen closely. Now listen to this. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. And now I'm going to play that first clip again. I know. Uh, Weird. If you haven't heard this thing yet, then you're probably freaking out. It's like a horror movie, isn't it? Here's another example of it that is even crazier. <laughs> and now, listen to this. The Constitution Center is at the next stop. And listen to the first clip again. <laughs> so huh. what just happened was when you heard the clip initially, it was a lot of static and your brain didn't know what to make of it. But then in the second clip, you heard what the person just clarifying said. So yourself, basically. Listen to the first clip again. Your brain knows what to look for. Pretty cool. It hears it through the now these next few things I'm going to show you are examples of audio illusions. This is an illusion of hearing when the listener hears sounds that are not present. All right, oh, first I'm going to play you a sound that feels like it keeps going up. Yeah, it does. That's right, it feels like it keeps going up forever. And then there's versions of it going down. Uh. 
Um. I know, it's so confusing because you're waiting <laughs> for the beat to drop or for something to happen, and it doesn't, it just yeah. keeps going. Now the next type of audio illusion we're gonna talk about is the power of suggestion. So watch this clip and think of the word brainstorm. All right, now watch the same clip again. Cry baby. But this time think of the words green needle. Oh. And there's so many other examples out there. Just listen to this one from a TI song. First listen to it and think, because I'm a paper beetle. chaser. Now listen to it and think, because I'm a big fucking slut. I know, that one is crazy. But by far, <laughs> the craziest audio illusion. That is terrible. It's called the McGurk Effect. Watch this woman that is so and true. tell me what you hear her She's like, how he, he suggested it, so you have to listen to it. Do you think you know? Watch again. You still think you know? All right. No. Now watch it with your eyes closed. That's right. The whole time she was saying the word ba. Just to let it sink in even more, watch this guy do it. Ba 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 ba. So how is this happening? Well, your ear is hearing ba. Ba, ba. But your eyes are seeing fa. Ba, ba, mm. ba, ba. So I was curious if I could recreate this myself and try to trick some of my most skeptical friends. <laughs> this is funny. Ba, 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 ba. I'm gonna play you something else. Ba, ba, ba. Ba. I was saying ba, and that's just the word copy and pasted over and over and over again. Ba. When I close my eyes, yeah, you're right. I still ba. hear ba. That's so weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is He's eating this? Beans. <laughs> I have I no swear. idea what you're on the show. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you a clip of me saying a word. Okay. You just tell me what you hear. Sure. Ba, ba, ba. Ba. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Oh. Fa, fa, fa. I don't know what the real one is then. I guess it's, you're saying ba, but you're putting fa on the screen. Is that what's happening? Ba, 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 no. Ba, ba, That's crazy. Ba, ba. I legit, are you saying fa or ba? I do not know. Ba, is that the same ba, clip? Ba, oh, and here's fa now. Stop it. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop. <laughs> Now there's even more ways like that suggestion can work. For example, there's this viral theory that if you pitch up Post Malone's voice, it sounds just like Justin Bieber. I've been fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. All my brothers got that gas and they always be smoking like a rock star. Damn. I mean, it's That's pretty crazy. good, but listen to it again while looking at pictures my money they will never fall she said yeah i feel so no hope watch out oh watch out oh watch out oh yeah are you rich yet but you know i ain't broke up and then if you add video footage of justin bieber performing it makes it almost impossible to know if it's just post malone sped up or if it's literally justin bieber doing a cover when my homies pull up on your block they make that thing go gratta ta ta now here's another brain <laughs> trick that you can play around with that will freak you out. This is the illusion of the noisy GIFs. Wow. Now this is when you watch a GIF that has no sound, but your brain creates the feeling of hearing something. Quiet room. Yep, my brain is like water and then explosion. Did you feel it? Now there's no sound, but your ears are reacting like there is, and it should kind of shake your whole head. Right. Yeah, you can you can feel that, even just watching it. <laughs> yep. Ah! Uh, <laughs> you can feel the pressure <laughs> on the sides of your head. If you watch it a few times in a row, your ears will start to ring because of how intense it is. 
Now back to Yanni and Laurel, the whole reason we're talking about audio illusions. Now mostly young people hear Yanni because of the high frequency and high pitch. The younger you are, the higher the frequency is that you can hear. Oh man, that's Laurel. There's sounds on the internet that only people under the age of 20 are supposed to be able to hear. And it sounds like this. Did you hear it? If you did, congratulations. You have young ears. Now yesterday I was playing the sound on my computer trying to hear it, and then Ryland and Andrew, who were in my house, started freaking out. Ow. You can hear that? Yeah, it's hurting my ears really bad. Yeah, ow. Oh my god. The dogs are freaking out too. It's hurting us. Let me see if you can hear this. <laughs> really? You heard that too? <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, I don't want to hear that again. <laughs> Alright, so young people hear higher frequencies. He's got like up people with like... What's the theory? Well, the theory <laughs> is that it big. record labels might be using certain high frequencies and certain high pitches to brainwash young people into liking their songs. Oh. Now, one of the biggest songs of the year was The Middle by Zed. So why do you just meet me? Now, in that song, you can hear this high-pitched noise inside the beat. Sound familiar? Listen to that Justin Bieber song, Where Are You Now? And you might have noticed in the last few years, that type of sound has been in all the hit songs. So what is that sound? That's actually my vocal that they took and they messed with it. It's literally just a sample of his voice pitched all the way up. Do the most. We're literally always trying to find something that you haven't heard before. Now this is where it gets creepy. Mm. This documentary video came out about how the middle was made. That song went through so many steps before Zed even got his hands on it. First, a producer came up with a beat and the melody. Then a songwriter wrote all the lyrics and recorded a demo. Why do you just meet me in the middle? Then they sent it to two other producers who finished mm -hmm. the beat. And then, after all of yeah, that, so he many finally people. sent it to Zed, and he finished it up and put his signature touch on it. And what did that song supposedly not have until Zed? The high pitch noise. What if that high pitch little noise in the beat is actually making your brain want to hear the song, want to buy the song? And the younger you are, mm. the more it works. What if Zed figured it out? This 28 year old guy who came from Russia with this insane talent for making music. Of course, and then the just Russians. Took over the world. I mean, I don't even listen to that type of music, and even I Me downloaded neither. it and had it in my head for like weeks. And I think a lot of other people did too. The middle has been like the no fastest rising song for me I think I've ever had. Why don't you just meet me in the middle? Oh. I'm losing my mind just a little. Now Zed is one thing, but what if the people in power learn more about frequencies? If they can make us love a song and download it, or make us hear words that aren't even there. It was saying Yanny. I was saying Laurel. Then why couldn't they figure out how to use frequencies to control us and make us do whatever they want? I mean, think about it. They could send the frequencies from space, from our phones, through the TV, literally anything that has technology. And if you look at the latest yeah. forms of weapons that the police have been sure. trying out lately, it doesn't seem like the government using frequencies to control us is that crazy. Please back away from this area. You shoot the sound in the window or the door, and they leave. Oh, damn. There have been instances where people said, well, what if they wear uh, earplugs or put their fingers in their ears? That really doesn't do a heck of a lot. Someone who refuses to come out of their house or a hotel room, as soon as you play the deterrent tones, they leave quickly. Stop it! 23 and me. Just a fun, easy way for you to spit in a tube and send it off and find out if you're white. <laughs> what? European? <laughs> I'm European! Oh my god! Okay, hold on. Well, what if it's a lot more than just that? If we don't use human DNA now, someone else This will, will. be the last thing we'll watch from you. have been at it for So this is not sponsored, minutes. by the way. If anything, I probably shouldn't even be saying this. But there is a theory that the 23andMe like kit is actually just a way of collecting all of our DNA. 
Hi, and welcome to 23andMe. Now your DNA is ready for transport. Ready for oh. transport. Ready for oh. transport. This has grown the FBI database into the largest in the world, with more than 3.5% of the country's DNA on file. Why would they want all of our DNA? We'll get to that in a second. Ready for transport. 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 And get it on its way back to our lab. This is something that one of the 23andMe board members actually More scary said. Though. The long game here is not to make money selling kits, although kits are essential to get the base level data. Oh, interesting. I thought the point was kits, but okay. Once you have the data, the company does actually become the Google of personalized healthcare. So what does that mean? Hypothetically, 23andMe could try to sell you a bunch of things based on your health. Start typing your doctor's name. And even though they said that they won't sell your information to third parties, Google said the same thing in the beginning. Cut to oh. now, Google keeps everything. They know your history, where you've been, what you're looking for, personalized ads that are targeted directly to you. But that's Google, Shane, not 23andMe, they're different. Well, in 2007, <laughs> Google invested $3.9 million into 23andMe. <laughs> then wow. this is where it gets really crazy. And I'm nervous to even say this because technically I work for Google because YouTube is part of Google. So please, Google, don't kill me. But one of the women who founded 23andMe is married to the guy that founded Google. And the woman who created 23andMe, her sister, is the CEO of YouTube. Oh, <laughs> I mean, come on, what they is circle. this? This isn't just a test to see what your nationality is. They want all of the data, right? So not only does Google now know what I'm searching and what I'm buying online, they know everything about my body, everything about my nationality, everything about my health. Damn. Google owns us. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to 23andMe. That was great. Oh, no! Now Google's smart, Let me see. right? They're always looking ahead. Well, in the future, what's something that's probably gonna happen that's gonna cost a lot of money. Age reversal. Imagine if you could turn back time. Well, today we're a step closer, thanks to an Australian breakthrough. I believe this will be the safest strategy out there to extend lifespan. This is something that's mm. in effect right now. Doctors are trying to figure out how to reverse the aging process, how to make people live forever. Uh, probably indefinite life spans very soon. In fact, I do not plan to die. Even more interesting, in 30 years, I will be younger than today. Not older, I will be younger. Uh, so Why? Yeah. Because we are going to have rejuvenation techniques. And these oh. experiments are beginning right now. Well, in the future, when this technology exists, you know what you're going to need to actually do it? A frozen DNA sample from when you were young. But how are you going to get a frozen DNA sample oh. of when you were young? It's not like you have that in your freezer. No, you don't. <laughs> 23 and me does. Make sure you provide yep, the recommended that. volume of saliva. So in 50 years when this is possible, 23 and me will email you and go, Hey, you want your uh, frozen young sample? That'll cost you $10,000. Your frozen that young sample. Really smart. <laughs> now, they want younger people's DNA, right? Because uh, that's the DNA you need for age reversal. Well, how do you get younger people to do a 23andMe kit? Oh, you get all of their favorite YouTubers to sell it to them. Oh, uh, head on man. over to 23andMe.com slash Joey. Go to 23andMe.com slash Tyler Oakley. Do that. Go to 23andMe.com slash Lily. At 23andMe.com slash Nikki and Gabby. 23andMe.com slash Today, I will be testing out my DNA. As you can see right here, 23 and me saliva oh. collection kit. So I think Google knows also what life. they are doing. No. The end. The end. Um, Alright, that was that. I watched like 18 minutes of that. And that was some crazy stuff. Some mind-blowing things, honestly. Uh, the last thing was... I think the last thing was just like crazier than anything else. Like he started with like, oh yeah, and you collect it. Like it was like a... Something that will, like, you know, like, oh, yeah, we collect your stuff. We'll let you know if you're related to someone. And then, like, oh, yeah, so you're related to this. So we're still going to keep the DNA. It's cool, though. <laughs> and then the next thing he connected it to was that. So that's some interesting, interesting ideas. Um, you get conspiracy theories, I say. And uh, all right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.